global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Global Happenings today. The indigenous people of Biafra have been uh, have been demanding for the freedom of not just their leader, but also the emancipation of their people for they want a better country for themselves ever since you know the issue of marginalization has become a main state has become something that's become a national issue right now a human rights activist and a presidential aspirant apart from also you know insisting giving a promise to the likes of um Jibos and IPB that in event of um, him becoming the president, he will automatically get Mazen Americano free. He has also decided also to give a mandate to all Nigerians that they must do. Sacrosanct. You're going to hear him speak it, talk about it. Uh, but before we show you the video and uh, give you all the juicy details, we love you to subscribe to our channel. If you have not done so already, by clicking on the red subscribe button, beside it you see a bell notification icon. Please go ahead, click on it to get notified as soon as you update our channel on YouTube. Well, a former presidential aspirant and the convener of Revolution Now, not just a former presidential aspirant, also the president is also aspiring for the same presidency. Omar Yele Sowori, during the week, declared his 2023 presidential ambition before a crowd of supporters. In his words, he says, Nigeria needs a revolution of total freedom of the Nigerian people and that Nigeria should apologize, should apologize to the Ndibos, Ibos for the monumental injustices meted on them. He also told the Yoruba agitators not to leave Nigeria for those that destroyed it, but that the oppressors in government are the ones to leave the country. When he becomes the president, Sore, Omoyele Sore, is also contesting on the platform of African Action Congress, AAC. Well, I'm going to allow you to watch the video where he made the declaration himself. But the question is, this the first, this he is not, he, Omoyele Sore is not the first person to, you know, mandate Nigerians to apologize to Indiwos. The late Malafia, Obadiah Malafia actually apologized you know we just you know apologize and see if we could see the future he apologized for what nigerians have done to the indigos malafia is not a the late malafia is not a little boy he knows his left from the rest he was the former deputy uh, cbn governor so he knows his onions and uh, more or less he has been in the corridor of politics for a while now either in form of activism but he has been in the corridor of politics and he could say for sure that there's some things going on that may not, that is not in favor with Indi. Well, just recently, a lot of um, rumors have it, you know, there's always no smoke without fire, have it that, uh, that APC has zoned their ticket, presidential ticket to South. Uh, there was a lot of uh, excitement at least southeast you know then the next thing they heard was another rumor that one was made public a uh, press release but another rumor now came up saying that they may likely be zoning it to southwest which means the likes of uh, uh, roger sokorocha who have been in apc and been angling to become to take the presidential ticket and the likes of uh, david umai who have always been in pdp purported to be apc just for the role of having his presidential dream, uh, uh, presidential aspiration fulfilled, may be dashed, his dreams will be dashed into the, to the trash, simply because if they have not zoned this to the southeast, there's no need picking up the ticket. So likelihood of them going back to the opposition, which is PDP is very high. Okorocha may likely find it easy to come back to PDP, but the likes of... Um, David Dumai may find it very difficult. Remember, he left, yes, he has the freedom to go and come in, but he left with a lot of tension between himself and the uh, governor. Yes, so wicked. Don't forget that uh, there's that general saying that Suja go, Suja come, barracks remain. Now that he has left, other people have pressed forward. So, him coming back, he may likely be taking a back seat. And now, for, for record purposes' sake, uh, the the PDP have really not zoned per se 
their presidential ticket but there's a lot of um you know ideologies going on that may likely come down to south the southern part of nigeria and if it does then there's still big hope for the south is aspirant aspirant the likes of david umahi the likes of um, roger sokrocha the likes of ojo zokalo may likely be running to pdp if they have the nerve to run to pdp but as it is now People are getting worried. And the last of Omoe is saying that now it is the time for the South East to get what they ought to get, but they've been marginalization. But he's telling them, uh, don't fret. Don't leave the country. The country belongs to you and I. If there's anyone that should be leaving, it should be those who have made the country a mess. They should be leaving the country for those who originally deserve something better. Let's watch the video and hear Omoyele Sore himself make very big promises, insisting also that uh, Ududua Republic agitators too should not. He pleaded with them to stay and not to leave a country so blessed, so vast. Watch the video together with me. Let's meet in our comment session. What's your take? Do have a nice time. God bless you. Bye. The position of power. Have you had a country? You will not be in the condition that you are in today as young people. We are going to reintegrate the East. But first and foremost, we must apologize to Igbos for the monumental injustices Nigeria carried out against them. We have reached out to our Yoruba brothers who said they want to leave. And we have told them, we should not leave this country for the people who destroyed it. It is those people that should leave the country for us. That they should stay in their country and let those who are destroying it be the ones on the run. The position of power. Have you had a country? You will not be in the condition that you are in today as young people. We are going to reintegrate the East. But first and foremost, we must apologize to Igbos for the monumental injustices Nigeria carried out against them. We have reached out to our Yoruba brothers who said they want to leave. And we have told them we should not leave this country for the people who destroyed it. It is those people that should leave the country for us. That they should stay in their country and let those who are destroying it be the ones on the run. The position of power. Have you had a country? You will not be in the condition that you are in today as young people. We are going to reintegrate the East, but first and foremost, we must apologize to Igbos for the monumental injustices Nigeria carried out against them. We have reached out to our Yoruba brothers who said they want to leave, and we have told them.